In this video, we will show you how to set up Video Sync 6 to play back in sync with Cubase 13 running on the same Windows computer. When running Video Sync on the same Windows computer as Cubase, you can use the default virtual MIDI timecode and MIDI machine control ports in Video Sync, which can be seen in the Sync Preferences tab in Video Sync. These ports are created when Video Sync is installed and are permanently available to Cubase, even when Video Sync is closed. Make sure that the desired video file is present in the current active video sync timeline so that the frame rate of the timeline is correctly derived. To show the MIDI I.O. options in video sync, first navigate to the Sync tab in the Preferences window. Set the Sync Source field to Other. Next, make sure that the MTC In field is set to Video Sync MTC In Virtual, and the MMC In field is set to Video Sync MMC In Virtual. In Cubase, go to Project, Project Setup, and in the Project Frame Rate field, set the timecode rate, start, and range to match those set in the Timelines tab in Video Sync. Go to Transport, Project Synchronization Setup. In the Sources tab, confirm that Activate External Sync is not enabled. In the Timecode Source section, select Internal Timecode. For earlier versions of Cubase where the Timecode Source option is not available, set Sync to Int from the Transport panel. In the Destinations tab under the MIDI Timecode Destinations section, enable the tick box to the left of Video Sync MTC In Virtual. In the MIDI Timecode Preferences section, make sure the MIDI Timecode Follows Project Time option is enabled. In the Machine Control tab under the Machine Control Output Settings section, enable MMC Master Active. Set MIDI Output to Video Sync MMC In Virtual. Click OK to close the window. When hitting play or scrubbing within Cubase, both the incoming timecode field should now be seen incrementing and the timecode rate displayed within the incoming TC section to the left of the main timecode counter in Video Sync. If the Sync button to the left of the transport buttons isn't already enabled, shown by the link icon flashing blue, click on it to activate it to follow external sync. Video Sync MTC MMC Sync is now online and ready to go. Hit play in Cubase and Video Sync will play back in sync. Video Sync allows for synchronized playback of clips running at up to 60 frames per second. Being a standard from the 80s, MIDI timecode does not support frame rates higher than 30 frames per second natively. To be able to play timelines with these high frame rate clips in sync to MIDI timecode, Video Sync will try to match the incoming timecode at half the frame rate. For example, if the timeline has a 50 frames per second video file, Video Sync will play it in sync if a 25 frames per second MIDI timecode source is supplied, or 29.97 and 59.94 frames per second as in the example shown. That's it for this video tutorial. Thank you for watching. For more video tutorials, detailed information on this topic or troubleshooting, please check the in-app manual or the knowledge base on our website.